Hey guys, uh, we are getting into lesson four, and we uh, in lesson four. Oh, my nails cut. In lesson four, we are going to be uh, working on some more mental strategies. Mental strategies. We're going to be kind of rearranging numbers and um, manipulating numbers a little bit uh, in the effort to mentally multiply some pretty big numbers. Uh, so let's take a few look at some examples. Here we go. Okay, mathematicians, uh, like I said, we're going to be working on a few, we're going to be working on mental strategies to multiply numbers, and we're going to do that in a few different ways. Here in this first section, uh, we are going to work on, oh, and we are on L4, and today's date is 10, 18, 18. Remember to complete one of these in your math notebook. Okay, so we are going to circle each expression that is not equivalent to the expression in bold. So we are looking here. Uh, we have 16 times 29, or 16 copies of 29. Let's go through here and see if um, any of these are equivalent, meaning equal to this expression. 29 16s. Yes, absolutely. 29 16s. We know that in multiplication we can rewrite these as 16 times 29 or 29 times 16. So we are good there. 16 times mm, 30 minus 1. What is 30 minus 1? 30 minus 1 is 29. So we have 16 times 29. Bingo. Let's look at this one. We have 15 minus 1 or the difference between 15 and 1. Uh, which is 14, so that's going to be 14 times 29. Eh, that does not work. Um, here is the difference between 10 29s and 6 29s. Well, let's just go ahead. We don't have to evaluate the whole, whole thing, um, but let's just kind of look through here. So 29 times 10 is going to be 290 minus... 6 times 29, I'm going to go ahead and say no-go on that one. Um, let's scoot down here to 74 times 59. 74 times 59, uh, again, we're looking for equivalent expressions. 74 times, well, 50 plus 9 is 59. So, yes, that's going to work. Um, 74 times, ooh, 60 minus 1 is 59. So we have 74 times 59. Bingo. Here we have 5 copies of 74 and 74 copies of 9. No, that's not going to work. Here we have 59 74s or 59 copies of 74 which is this same expression just flipped. And it's totally okay to flip something in multiplication. It's totally okay to flip an expression in multiplication. It's totally okay to flip uh, an expression in when we're working with addition. Uh, so 59 times 74 is cool, or 74 times 59 is cool. We cannot flip something if it is division, meaning we can't flip the expression so that it means the same thing. We cannot flip an expression when it's subtraction. But multiplication, awesome. Addition, no problem. Let's take a look at a couple more here. Okay, so here's where things get pretty cool. I really love this strategy. Um, let's break this down. Okay, so here we're being told to solve using mental math. Draw a tape diagram and fill in the blanks to show your thinking. The first one is partially done for you. Okay, so we're going to break this down step by step. So we have 19 times 50 equals how many 50s? Well, 19 times 50 equals 19 50s or 19 copies of 50. This tape diagram has already been uh, provided for us. So here we have <clears throat> one, two... The, Eureka did not draw all 19 copies of 50. They did this dot, 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 meaning um, I don't have the time to draw 19 copies of 50. So this is the first copy of 50, second copy of 50, third, dot, 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 meaning 4, 5, 6, 7th, 8th, 9th, all the way through 19th copy of 50. And then the 20th copy is drawn in and X'd out. And here's why or crossed out. Because we can do this in our head. If we consider instead 20 copies of 50, 
you guys can do 20 copies of 50 in your head because we can do 2 times 5, which is 10, but that's not 2 times 5, that's 20 times 50, which means we're bringing along two zeros. So two t 20 times 50 is 1,000. We can use this. We've been working on this so far in module two. We can use this to solve this. And here's how. Think 2050s minus 150. Okay. So we're going to think 20 50s, 25, 50, uh, 20 times 50 minus 1 times 50. Because we're not looking for 20 50s here. We're only looking for 19 50s. So 20 times 50, this, this line we're going to evaluate. 20 times 50 is 1,000. 1 times 50 is 50. What is 1,000 minus 50? Well, 1,000 minus 50 is 950. So 19 times 50 is equal to 950. Because 20 times 50 is 1,000, take away 150, 150 right here, doo, 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 and we have 950. So you guys just, you guys have the ability to solve with some practice a pretty advanced multiplication expression in your head. We didn't do any, we didn't do the standard algorithm. We absolutely could have, but instead we used mental strategies to evaluate this. It's super, super impressive. Let's look at another one. I'm going to change colors. Never super impressed with my orange selections. Orange. I just want a nice orange. It's more of a cantaloupe. Um, that's fine. Okay. So now let's look at 11 times 26. 11 times 26 is equal to 11 26. 26s. I'm going to model that here, but I'm not going to draw... 11 26s. I'm going to just draw a few. Doot. So we have 26, we have 26, 26, we have dot, 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 and we have 26. First 26, second 26, third 26, dot, 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 and then we have our 11th 26. Okay, so that's my model of 1126s. Now we're going to attempt to um, model this. I'm sorry, evaluate this mentally. Okay, so let's think of 10 26, 26s because we can evaluate 10 times 26 in our head. We do that simply by doing 26 times 1, which is 26, but we're going to bring 1 0 along with us. So based on this amazing mental math, we're going to piggyback on this amazing mental math in order to solve this. Because as you can see, we're looking here we have 10 copies of 26. What we're looking for are 11 copies of 26. We're actually going to add on a copy here at the end. Okay, so think 10 26 sixes plus 126. 10 26 is 10 times 26 plus 1 times 26. We can do 10 times 26 in our head. We did it up here. It's 260. We can also do 1 times 26 is 26. And now we can add 260 and 26. I can actually do that horizontally. 286. If that's not working for you horizontally, Ain't no shame in doing it vertically. Just, oops, don't, just don't change the number like Mrs. C did. Zero plus six is six. Six plus two is eight. Two plus nothing is two. So we used a mental strategy to solve 11 times 26. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Okay. Right, there's more. Let's look at a word problem before we officially end our YouTube video fun for L4. Okay, so we have a word problem. We need to use our RDW strategies. Let's read first. Joy is helping. Oop, not Joy. Miley. Our very own Miley is a star. 
of a word problem. Miley is helping her father to build a rectangular deck. Wow, Miley, that is generous of you. That measures 14 feet by 19 feet. Find the area of the deck using a mental strategy. Explain your thinking. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to draw this deck that Miley is building with her dad. Miley, that is so nice of you to help him. Okay, so one side of the deck measures 19 feet. The other side of the deck measures 14 feet. And we want to find the area, which is the space inside. We want to find the area of the deck. Area A is equal to length times width. We're going to multiply length times width in order to find our area. But we're going to do this using a mental strategy. So our area for this problem is equal to 19 times 14. Why do I keep changing the numbers? Not 19 times 40, Miley. Just kidding, Miley knew, Miley knew it was 14. I'm the rascal that's changing numbers. Um, we're going to be able to do this in our head by changing the problem a little bit. I'm going to look at 20 times 14. Oh my gosh, I almost drew 40 again. I'm going to look at 20 times 14. 2 times 14, it's two 14s. 14 plus 14 is 28. And we're going to bring a zero along with us. So 20 times 14 is 280. Are we looking for 20 14s? No, we're looking for 19 14s. So this is one too many 14s. I'm going to take away one 14 from 280. So 280 represents 20 14s. I only need 19 14s for the area. 280 minus 14, we can quickly look at that here on the side. Can we take four from zero? No. Hey, eight, can you help me out? Sure, I love helping out. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so now I'm not a zero, I'm a 10. 10 minus four, six. Seven minus one, six. Two minus nothing, two. 280 minus 14 is 266, which means the area of Miley, Miley and her father's deck is going to be 266 feet squared. We did that in our head using mental strategies. You guys are amazing. Thanks for an amazing day. I cannot wait for an amazing day tomorrow. Mrs. Herseth has actually provided the secret word for us today. Mrs. Herseth, my very dear friend, uh, is asked uh, that the secret word be go cougs. I don't know where these cougs are going and who these cougs are. Um, but the secret word is go cougs because um, she loves the cougs and I guess they're going to college game day this weekend and I guess that's a pretty big deal. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep up the...